Um, I've had a few minutes to calm back down. Uh, hold on. I swear this has to do with part of the story and not just like a random insert. But my outfit today, okay? Let's take a quick look. It's from Fashion Nova, not the white top. I think that's Forever 21. Irrelevant. Fashion Nova, okay? Just got it. It's a uh, two-piece, the skirt. And then it comes with this little top that I was wearing this morning because it was cold. Cute, right? Okay. I thought it was cute. Um, it buttons, if I remember. I'll link this down below because you guys like to know where I got stuff from and I don't mind sharing it with you. The reason I'm telling you that right now is because this outfit has garnished so much attention from strangers today. Um, I door dashed and I did ship today. Uh, halfway throughout the day, I was like this, okay? Um, I don't know what it is, men and women all day, okay? Have complimented my outfit or said something nice. That's wonderful, that's really great, that really is. But once again, once again, somebody thinks it's okay to follow me around a store. Let me elaborate, please, because that sounds really dumb. A couple years ago, actually, my most viewed video on this channel, and it truly has nothing to do with this whole stalking thing. It's just Hunter and I tonight. And we were having a relaxing night and we're about to, we had had ju just had dinner and we're winding down for the night. And I said, you know what, let's go to Walmart real quick. I'm out of your breakfast pouches for the morning. I'm out of like conditioner, razors, couple random loose odds and ends, okay? And I was, I, there were things that I really needed. And then I was just also kind of browsing and just killing some time. We ended up passing this guy who had this, just so, so you have an idea in your head, he had long black hair, like probably to his chest. Long black hair, looked like this big, like rocker dude, probably in his 50s, 60s. Um, black shirt, I think it was like a band t-shirt or something, very casual. He kind of looked like a biker guy. No like leather jacket or anything, but that's the impression he gave me. And I don't remember what the first thing he said to me was. I think it was just, I was walking one way down an aisle, he was walking the other way. And a lot of the times when I have my kids with me, men a lot of the times will talk to my kids in order to get attention from me. Like they won't say hi to me. They'd be like, oh, hi, how are you talking to Hunter, you know? So it's one of those instances, not every time, but a lot of the times if someone is going to talk to me, that's how they start it, by talking to my kids first. So that happened, you know, he walked by and he's like, oh, hi buddy, you know, just friendly exchange. That was it, kept walking, kept browsing. I think I was in like the kitchen decor section or something. Then I walk over to the office area because I was looking for like a, a, a budgeting wallet kind of thing. He is now in that aisle. Um, and he, he passes by me again and he makes a joke about like not being able to find rubber bands or something. And I'm like, oh yeah, you know, it's always really hard to find what you need in here. Like I'm just, again, you know, making small talk, not trying to be rude. And then at that point when I had, yes, 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 yes. at that point when I had seen him a you okay? At that point when I had seen him a second time in a different location and he was eagerly talking to me again, um, I kind of knew ah. something was maybe up. You know, I was being friendly. I wasn't trying to be overly paranoid or anything. And I was like, oh, it was just coincidence. You know, he's in the same aisle as me again. <laughs> Hi, buddy. Um, I've already had an incident of being followed in that same Walmart, ironically in the same section that I was in the second time the guy came up to me. So I was a little already like really on guard. So I left the office section, mind you again, that was the second time now he had approached us and or like came near us or in the same aisle or whatever. 
So I told myself I left that aisle and I'm like, okay, I'm just gonna go into like, well, I had to go all the way to the baby section, the other side of the Walmart and I didn't see him over there. So at that point I'm like, okay, I'm just, I'm being paranoid. But then I had to go like to the other corner again to go get, um, what was I looking for? It doesn't really matter. I don't buy just for context. I'm trying to remember. No, I'm sorry. At this point, after the baby section is when I started walking to the checkout. So let me try to set the scene up for you guys. So after the baby section, I was pretty much done and it was time to go. Um, I'm obviously keeping this guy in mind that he's probably somewhere close to keep my eyes on him because I... I'm not trying to be overly paranoid, but I am trying to be um, aware of my surroundings, you know, know what's going on around me. And so I left the baby section, didn't see him. I started walking toward the self-checkout. And as I'm getting closer to the self-checkout, here he comes again. <laughs> but again, he's coming down like the opposite or crossing paths again. And he stops again and he's like, hi, buddy, talking to Hunter. And he says something else, I don't know. And I'm like, oh, you know, have a good one. And at that point, I felt like I was being followed. I didn't feel like it was paranoia anymore. This is now the third time he's come out of nowhere. And like, I was keeping my eyes out for him. He came out of nowhere. So I said, okay, he's near the self-checkout, obviously. I'm just gonna kind of scooch down this aisle real quick. Let's take a sharp turn, <laughs> not go to self-checkout yet, and just browse this random aisle for a few minutes. And at this point is when I started texting a few people and being like, hey, if I disappear, <laughs> here's what he looks like kind of thing. So I'm standing in the aisle, I'm texting him for a few minutes, I'm looking around. Like I give it a couple minutes, guys. I'm standing in this aisle, right? Once I think the coast is clear, once I think he's gone, once I think that he's had enough time to like stand in the self checkout line and check out and go where he was just at, where he was just heading to, um, I, I leave the aisle. You know, again, I'm still trying to be like, not obvious looking around, but I'm still trying to be mindful of who's around me. I get into the self checkout line and no more than two seconds later, guess who walks up next to me? And now let me set this scene, okay? And action, okay. I'm standing in line, okay? I have my carriage and Hunter is here and we're just standing in line. And this guy, my, well, he was on this side but just for the sake of this video. He comes up and he stands like right here, right? Like this close too, I'm not kidding. So I turn and look at him and he just starts he, I don't know if he brought up his phone first. He started a conversation about the movie, movie Elvis, like a, a movie about his life or something that just came out in June. Um, so he's like, oh, have you seen this movie? And I'm like, no, I haven't been to the movies in years, which is true. He's like, oh, I just saw it the other day. And then I, I, I went like, I forget where he said, he's like, I just went on this trip not long ago. And I'm like, yeah, that's awesome. You know, in the back of my mind, I'm like, sir, I don't want to talk to you. You have been freaking me out this whole time. So he's just standing there. And at this point, my heart starts pounding. Cause again, I don't want to be rude. I don't want to cause a scene. He's just talking about Elvis, but He's creeping me out. He's just giving me this horrible vibe. Yeah. Elvis. Oh, they came out with a new one. Oh, yeah. that's amazing. Yeah. Amazing. I haven't been to movies in years. <laughs> me neither. <laughs> no, check it out. I went to Graceland last year. Yeah. I said, okay, I got this. Nice. That's exciting. Job. Yeah. Tom Hanks. They, they Tom Hanks. Yeah. Oh, they do. <laughs> Oh, he must have done a wonderful job. Oh. Yeah, you hated him in the movie. Yeah. You find out the colonel is the one that killed out. Really? I'm very strict. Oh, God. Getting a pep on pills so he would keep performing and cover, his, cover the colonel's gambling debts. Yeah. No kidding. I haven't heard much about it, you know. <laughs> You're silly. It's time to go home and get you in bed. Yes, sir. Yes. Oh. <sighs>
Oh, bike. I'm sorry. <laughs> Keep your hands to yourself, please. I'm going astray. Right you know what, baby? I forgot something. I actually forgot something. So you have to go. I gotta go grab that water and come Thanks. So I come up with an excuse and I'm like, oh, I said, I just realized I forgot strawberries. Like if I don't get them, my daughter will kill me. Okay. Which isn't entirely untrue, but I also don't need strawberries. So I ended up getting out of that self checkout line, walking to the other side of the store where the groceries are standing in the produce for another three to five minutes i'm still waiting because now i'm like all right this dude's in a line like he's gotta be going you know so i sit in the produce for a couple minutes and then i go to the other self checkout line where i'm able to check out um but the whole time i am looking over my shoulder like i am just expecting this dude to pop up out of nowhere okay so finally i check out and now i have to walk my car is on the other side where that, that other self checkout was. That's why I was going to that one initially. So I'm walking across the front of Walmart to get to the other entrance. And as I pass the customer service, I'm like, you know what? I'm just gonna try to let somebody know that I'm feeling a little creeped out. I ended up pulling this guy who was working in customer service. And I said, hey, like, I just wanna let you know this was the second time I've been followed in this store. The first time I didn't say anything about it and I really regretted it. I don't think cops need to be necessarily involved, but please be on the lookout for him. Make sure he's not harassing other women. I just wanna bring it to your attention kind of thing. So he's like, oh, you know, okay. And he's like, do you want me to walk, out, walk you out to your car? And I said, no, I said, I, I, I don't see him at this point. I said, if I do see him and feel uncomfortable, I'll just turn around and come get you. I made it like 10 feet from the door when I see him. And when I tell you, I turned around so fast and walked right back to customer service. And at this point, a manager had actually walked up who was a female. And I explained the situation to her again. And she's like, oh my God, this is your second time. I'm like, yeah, this is why I don't really come here anymore. Excuse me. I, I'm having like a heart attack because he's by that door. Is there any way like somebody could even like yeah, walk, walk with me to the you. car? Like, I've had issues with this in the past. I'm like. I'm just. He's got the long black hair, black shirt. Like everywhere I've gone, he's kind of showed up. He's like standing real close to me and my son. And like. I was standing in the chucker over there and he was like literally standing here the whole time so I got out of line. I like circled around grocery. I checked out over there but my car is over there so I started walking and I was like looking. I didn't see him and then like as soon as I got over there I just ran right back over. So do you want us to walk you to? I just need somebody to walk Or do you me. want us to call the police? No, the police aren't necessary unless he's bothering other I would keep my eyes out because this is the second time in this store I've been followed by two different men. Um, <laughs> I don't I had my camera. So she ended up walking us to the car and she stayed with me until I left and everything. But like I explained, like I, I told her his description. I told her like what had happened the first time I was followed. Like she was just like, what? <laughs> and I'm like, you're telling me. <laughs> so I just, I wanted to come on share it again because honestly about 15 minutes ago i was in tears i have really bad ptsd from like i don't even know if that's the correct term and i don't mean to be like um 
disrespectful or anything, but like I just get like severe, <laughs> like I get really, 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 really worked up if I think somebody is following me or just has really bad intentions toward me. I've just, I've been through too much. Too much has happened to me to like play with that kind of stuff, you know? Like I get really, really, really like, <sighs> uh, anywho, um, that was fun. I wasn't even vlogging today. <laughs> Yeah, but yeah, anyway, if you're going to buy this, fair warning, everybody loves it. I'm just saying. I do love it, but I might not ever wear it again. <laughs>